Now let's get into today's video, guys. I want to talk about something that I wish I knew when I first started trading options. And I've seen a lot of new investors who have joined uh, my Discord are starting to, uh, you know, buy options, and they're starting to make this exact same mistake. So I want to talk about three things here uh, to avoid, uh, you know, or, or three things you can do to avoid this exact same mistake that I was making. So I want to use Amazon uh, for this uh, demo here. So let's go over to Amazon stock here. Uh, again, make sure you've enabled options in your settings, then you'll be able to go over to the options for Amazon stock. So again, a lot of new investors, when they start trading options, they're going to stay to the uh, stick to the basics, right? Buying a call, buying a put very simple uh very straightforward uh so again when you buy a call you're hoping that the price of the stock goes up when you buy a put you're hoping that the price of the stock goes down now one thing that a lot of new investors may not be so aware of is the concept of time decay so time decay is a measure of the rate of decline in the value of an options contract due to the passage of time Meaning that every single day when you buy an option, the value of your contract loses value, again, due to time decay. Uh, and so this is also known as theta, and it is one of the option Greeks. If you open up one of these contracts, if you look under the Greeks, right, theta, that is one of the Greeks there. Uh, so again, this is time decay. And a lot of new investors aren't aware of how this works and how this could cause you to lose a lot of money if you're not aware of what you're doing here. So uh, time decay, also known as the silent killer. This is an enemy of the options buyer, uh, but it is a friend to the option seller. Uh, and we'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, so first thing I want to talk about here uh, to avoid getting crushed by uh, time decay is at versus in versus out of the money. So let me quickly explain what that means and why it matters. So at the money contracts, at the money options means that the, sh uh, the share price is basically the, the same or very close to the strike price. So we'll take a look here at the money option would be this one right here because the 3290 strike is a very, very close to what the share price is right now. So this would be at the money option. Now there's also in the money options and there's also out of the money options. So in this, in this case, when we're looking at calls in the money would be where the strike price is less than the current share price. So all of these options down here are in the money. You'll also notice that they're a lot more expensive. Out of the money is where the strike price is higher than the share price for calls. Uh, and as you can see, these will be a lot cheaper. It'll be the vice versa for put if you take a look at that. Uh, now, so what does this have to do? Why does this matter? Well, here's the thing, okay, and pay attention here. Theta is usually at its highest point when an option is at the money. Theta will be the highest when an option is at the money. Okay, so you're going to lose more from time decay when you buy an at the money option. As the underlying security moves further away from uh, that strike price, from the at the money strike price, whether you go deeper in the money or deeper out of the money, theta will get lower. Right. So we can actually take a look at that. So this is the at the money option. If we take a look at what theta is. It's negative three point eight four. So remember what this means is that in one day due to time decay, the value of this contract will lose uh, three hundred and eighty four dollars. Because remember, this is per share. You're losing three dollars and eighty four cents per share. And each contract controls 100 shares. So in one day, if I buy this call option and everything else is held constant, I'm going to lose $384 in one day because of time decay. This is the at the money option. If I go deeper out of the money, so if I go deeper up here, right, and for example, take a look at this. Well, now theta is only $318. Now I'm only going to lose $318. If I go down here, uh, deeper in the money, same thing. Right, it's going to be less. If I take a look here, theta is only three hundred and twenty-seven dollars that I'll lose in one day, right? Which is still less than uh, the um, the three hundred and eighty-four dollars I'd lose for the at the money. So again, theta is usually at its highest point when an option is at 
the money. So the first thing we can do to avoid losing tons of money from time decay is to buy an in the money option. The reason you wouldn't want to buy an out of the money, far out of the money option, even though theta is also lower, is because it's a lot less likely that you will be profitable. And for example, if we take a look at this, uh, let's see, if we go down here to the uh, 3351 right here. So let's take a look, for example, at this one. Our break even is $3,366. Yes, theta is less. Yes, it's cheaper, but it's going to be a lot less likely that you're going to be profitable. Right? Because again, for to break even on expiration, Amazon needs to go all the way to $3,366. Now, if we take a look, for example, at the 3250 strike one, yes, it's a lot more expensive, uh, but again, theta will also be less. And as you can see, our break even is 33150. So it's a lot less, it's a lot more likely for Amazon to reach that by expiration than it is to reach $3,366, which is the break even of the other option. Uh, so that's why that's one thing you could do is buying in the money options because they will have less theta decay. Uh, and that's why you wouldn't want to go uh, out of the money because it's a lot less likely that you will be profitable. Now, the second thing you can do, and this is another thing that a lot of people forget, is that time decay accelerates as an options time to expiration draws closer. Uh, so in other words, uh, there's less time to realize a profit from the trade, the closer we are to expiration. Thus, it's, you know, the value of a contract will lose uh, money a lot quicker. So let me show you here again as an example. So if we take a look at, uh, let's take a look at this 3300 strike, for example. If we take a look here at what theta is. Theta is negative 3.82, okay? Uh, so again, every single day that goes on, we're losing $382 just due to time decay. If I go a week out to, let's say, May 21st, and I take a look at that exact same contract, the 3300 strike, we'll see that theta now is only negative 2.39. So we went from losing $380 a day to only losing $239 if we go a week out, right? Because again, theta decay accelerates as you get closer to the expiration date. Uh, so what does this mean for us? This means that we typically want to buy longer dated contracts, not only because it gives us more time for the trade to go in our favor, but also because time decay will be less, as you're seeing right now. And hopefully, right, you're able to close your position a couple of days before the actual expiration to avoid that higher theta decay that you will see again the closer you get till expiration. So again, people like to choose further out expirations. You'll see a lot of people don't buy weekly options. They'll go a little bit further out. If you're selling options, then you want to sell options weekly because again, you're going to receive a lot more premium that way. And again, it's for the same exact reason. Uh, theta will be a lot higher. It'll you know accelerate as it gets closer to that expiration date. So that's the second thing that we can do here uh, to avoid uh, our, our option uh, losing tons of money from time decay. Now the third option, this is why I chose Amazon here. Uh, one of the main reasons I chose Amazon. So this will allow us to maximize both our, or minimize both our risk and the impact of time decay. So what we can do is we can utilize a vertical debit spread instead. Now the profit will be capped, but there will be a lot less risk and a lot less theta decay. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to buy an option and then we're going to sell an other another option where the strike price is higher than the strike price of the option we bought. So let's say I want to buy this uh, 3,285 strike option here. I'm going to buy this. Now, again, this is going to have some pretty high uh, theta. Uh, there's going to be huge time decay. It's also very expensive, right? It's going to cost about $4,360. So what we can do is we can also sell an option. And again, 
uh, for these vertical debit spreads, the strike would have to be higher than the strike of the uh, caller buying here. So let's say I wanna sell this one, I would go ahead and sell this one. So there's gonna be a call debit spread. And again, there's a couple of benefits to this. We're minimizing our risk because now this is only gonna cost us $315. So it went from costing $4,360 to $315 only. The other thing is what we're mainly focusing on is that theta decay now is gonna be a lot, lot less because the short leg reduces the effect of time decay. Also, the stock doesn't need to move as much for us to be profitable when compared to buying only a call or a put option. And so before I show you that, let me show you how uh, theta decay, time decay is a lot less here. So again, we're buying this call and we're losing about $389 every single day, right? But we also sold a call. When you sell a call, time is on your side. Time is your friend. You're making money from time decay when you sell options. So since we sold this one, we can take a look at what theta is on this one. So theta is negative 3.844, uh, which means that you as a seller are making $384 every single day from time decay. So yes, we're losing $389 from this call we bought, but we're also making $384 from the call we sold. So in reality, we're only losing about you know $5 right now per day just due to time decay, which is a lot, lot less than simply buying this call and losing $389 every single day. Uh, so now I want to show you guys this uh, this uh, trade here very quickly uh, just so you guys can visually see what our profit or losses are depending on the price, depending on the date. So here we are on the options profit calculator. Again, really great tool. Always, always come here and you know check out what your trade will look like so that you understand that you know what to expect from your trade. So we take a look on their spreads. We can click on call spread here. Uh, so again, we're using Amazon, so I will click that on here. Uh, so I'll enter the symbol in here, AMZN. We can click on get price to get the price of Amazon. And then we're gonna enter the exact same trade we just uh, entered over there. So same expiration, May 14th. So again, we bought the call at the 3,285 uh, strike. Uh, so that's down here. Uh, so right here, we bought uh, this one. Calls are on the left, puts are on the right. Be careful with that. So right there, and then we sold our 3,290 strike call. Uh, so we'll go down to that. So right here, uh, and then right there. So again, 315, and then for the range, I'll say 3280 to uh, 3320, and then let's calculate on that. So here is what this gives us here. And again, this lets us kind of figure out what our risk re returns are, break even points, probability of profit, things like that. So as you can see, uh, so we're paying $315 to enter this trade. Our max return is $185, break even as well as given there. Uh, but as you can see, as long as on expiration, the price of Amazon is at the strike of the call we sold or higher, we make our max profit, which is $185 again. If we're between our break even and the, the 3290 here, we'll make partial profit. And we can see that here, for example, if it's at 3,289.50, we'd make $135 only. Now, if we're between 3285 and 3288.15, we're gonna lose partial some of our money. Uh, so for example, if it's at 3,288, we lose $15. And finally, if it's at the strike of the call we bought or lower on expiration, then we'll lose all of our money, which again was what we paid to enter this trade, $315. But if we take a look here, Amazon right now, currently at around 3,290. So if we go there, as you can see, right, if it's you know if the stock trades sideways, we are losing some money from time decay, but not a whole lot, right? And that's kind of what our big objective here is. And again, our risk is minimized a lot because we don't have to put up as much money. We don't have to risk as much money. So, anyways, those are three ways or three different things that you can use, you can do to minimize your risk when it comes to time decay and buying options. 
Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord link to it in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.